if you've got a thermostat like this and you want to add a Nest thermostat or an Ecobee or a Wise, you'll need three wires. This one's only got the two connections, so I definitely had two wires going to it. If you've got a third wire, then what you can do is you wire it like this. Here's the thermostat, and you just have one to the RC, one to the C, and one to the W. Then you'll need to install a relay, and you can tap off your 24 volts AC right here. The way this worked before was these two wires here, they were just connecting right here. And if I touch these two wires together, that will fire my boiler. But if you want to have an Ecobee, then you're going to need to power the Ecobee somehow. This one, how this works, is the RC and the C are powered constantly to give the Ecobee power. Then when you call for heat on the Ecobee, it energizes the W1. And that comes down here to the relay. That energizes this coil, which flips this little switch here. And that is just emulating the switch that you used to have with this guy. These are the relays I've chosen to use. They've got a nice little uh, junction block. If I ever need to replace them, I can just pull the old one out and slide a new one in. One thing I also like about them is they've got a little indicator light on them. If your thermostat is calling for heat, this light will light up. Another interesting thing you can do is there's a little lever right here um, that you can pull and that will close the terminals, the output terminals, to allow you to test without having to fiddle around with your thermostat. So the main thing you'll need with these relays is that they can handle a 24 volt AC input to close the coil.